This is us. Everyone you have ever known, everyone you have ever loved, everyone in history, great poets, scientists, philosophers, artists, everyone that's ever existed from our humankind has been from here, planet Earth that we call home. This is Earth from the Moon, this is Earth from Mars, we live on a tiny speck of dust in the vast ocean of the cosmos. Earth is in the solar system. In the sky, we often see a bright orb of plasma in the daytime that is actually a giant never-ending nuclear explosion. This ball of explosions is a million times larger than Earth and over 300,000 times massive. In our solar system we have now 8 planets. Closest to the sun we have Mercury, really hot. A bit further away we have Venus, a really hot sauna with pressure so high that the atmosphere of Venus would crush you instantly. Then we have the old third rock from the sun, you already know what this is. Oh and by the way, light particles, the fastest thing in the universe, light takes 8 minutes to get from the surface of the sun to our planet earth. Further away we have Mars where Elon Musk wants to live. Then we have a belt of asteroids that is called the asteroid belt for some reason. Further still we have Jupiter. This is like its own entire solar system with over 30 moons. Four of them are huge and fascinating. Europa for example, having more liquid water on its underground oceans than all of the water on earth combined. And Europa might also have life under its surface. Moving on we have Saturn famous for its rings and not much more. It's a giant ball of gas, just like Jupiter. Next up we have Uranus, actually called Uranus, so you know, once you know that it's called Uranus, the jokes don't really work that much. Uranus is an ice giant, it's really cold. Next up is Neptune, also an ice giant and super cold. Even with all of these other planets, gas and ice giants in our solar system, our own star, the Sun, still makes up about 99.8% of the total mass in our entire solar system. It's not really finally agreed upon where is the edge or the ending of the solar system, but just for perspective, when light from the Sun takes 8 minutes to get to Earth, light from the Sun to get to the edge of the solar system takes about 10 hours. So fastest thing in the universe takes 10 hours from the sun to the edge. The nearest sun, other star to our own sun is called Proxima Centauri. And Proxima Centauri is about 4 light years away, so light takes 4 years to get from our star to the closest star. And we have our own neighborhood of stars and all of that, but we zoom out a bit more. Where are we really? We are a part of a huge galaxy called the Milky Way galaxy, we are on the edge of one of its beautiful spiral arms. The Milky Way galaxy has about 200 billion other stars in it. That means we are one of 200 billion or 200,000 million other stars. And these numbers are so vast and difficult to comprehend, but just we should know that it's a lot. A galaxy is a huge collection of stars, with an average galaxy having around 200 billion stars like our own galaxy. Galaxies are held together by gravity, supermassive black holes at the center, and dark matter, something we have no idea what dark matter really is. The size of a galaxy is usually around a few hundred thousand light years across. So that means that light takes from one part of the galaxy to the other around 200,000 years to cross. So let's zoom out a bit more to the bigger picture. Our solar system, light takes 10 hours, the closest star, light takes about 4 years. And for the closest star the galaxy, we have a galaxy called Andromeda, and it is 2.5 million light years away. And actually our own Milky Way galaxy and the Andromeda galaxy are on a way to collide, so sometime far far into the future, our two galaxies will merge into a beautiful huge super galaxy. And the proposed name for that is Milkdromeda, putting Milky Way and Andromeda together. Really bad name, please let's not keep this name. So zooming out even more into our entire universe, at least the part that we can see our observable universe, the universe itself is much larger, but for the part that we can see where light has had enough time to get to us, there are more than 200 billion galaxies in our observable universe, each one of those galaxies containing hundreds of billions of stars. 
So just for a sense of scale, there are more stars in our observable universe than there are grains of sand on all of the beaches on Earth. So if you've ever been on a beach on a sunny day and you looked at all the grains of sand on all of the beaches on Earth together, there's not enough to make up for the amount of stars in our universe. And the craziest thing for me at least to try and wrap my head around is that these 200 billion galaxies having these hundreds of billions of stars each one of those stars, these dots in the night sky, when you look up at a beautiful summer night, each one of those dots is a star, is a sun, just as real as our own sun. And each one of those stars, most stars have planets around them. And each one of those planets are just as real places as our own planet Earth and might have life in there. So. 200,000 million times 200,000 million and to say that we are the only ones here and this is only in the part of the universe that we can observe. The real universe might be infinite in extent or just go on way way further and what is beyond that uh, infinite multiverse whatever I hope that we will find out soon but it's fascinating to think about and I think as human beings we should know where we are and what we are and what the scale of this world that we live in is and i i think that's just interesting to know so i hope this was something interesting if you have any thoughts please share them in the comments and of course thank you so much for watching and take care